Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is night, which is natt. Natt. Today I'm doing a get ready with me. It was a little bit of a long time ago since I did that and I did have a little bit of an extra time this morning. So I thought that I would just film for you guys. Not for you guys, but yeah, I would film. You can see that I'm wearing foundation. So I am actually filming a foundation review. So just so you know, it's probably gonna come up after this video, but just so you know, it's coming. Um, yeah, hopping in to cream contour. I'm taking my Anastasia cream contour palette and look at this. <gasps> I'm almost ready with it. I'm not panning the concealers and I'm not panning this darkest shade, but these two, they are a little bit dry, so that's why I'm mixing in a little bit of this in it. But you see, like I've gone pretty long way with this. I'm really, really happy. I mean, my goal was to finish this up 2018, but I didn't do that mainly because I don't know, there was a few months that I didn't use cream contour and I never want to force myself to use something that I don't want to use. I feel like that is something that, I don't know, but last year I started uh, product pan and it just wasn't really my cup of tea. Um, so now I'm trying to really just use the makeup that I have and use the makeup that I like. If I don't like something, it's better for me to just get rid of it instead of me keeping it and just trying to use it up. It's just not a good thing, you know? Makeup is my hobby and makeup is my passion in life. So I don't want to do anything to make this really, really boring. So for instance, if you're if you are an artist and you love to paint, you're an, yeah, but you're an artist and you like to paint. What if you hate painting certain things and I told you to paint that all the time? It wouldn't be fun. I mean, if you do something just because you like it and you think it's fun, you shouldn't like, if you like video games, you shouldn't play a game you hate just because you should get your money's worth, you know? It's not really, that's kind of stupid in my opinion. And last year I tried to use up so many things that I just didn't like. Not this year, no, no, no. And then we're just going over this with our sponge. So I'm gonna use this one. This is the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. It's a little bit too light for me. That's why I use two different concealers. So I use this one just right under my eyes. I would never had thought a couple of years ago that I would think that the a concealer was too light for me because I loved a light under eyes. I mean, a light white under eye. I didn't look that great. Uh, then I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I have actually taken the stock route, but I don't know, like, does this really contain 3.4 milliliters? It is only like a half, it's only one milliliter less than other concealers. But this one I always go through, I have had two tubes and I go through it in like two weeks. And that is a little bit too quick, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, great, one empty. Oh, right, I have this little thing in the background, as you can see, covers up my mirror. What do you think about that? It's actually just a cardboard thing that I just applied some, like, it's sort of like tape, but it's like plastic that looks like a mosaic. Mosaic? I don't know. Um, but the thing is that every time I film, I feel like I have to sit just like this in order for you not to see the back of me. Because if you see the back of me, you have no idea how many videos I have thrown out because I sit wrongly. Just because I don't like the way I look from behind. Yeah, it's true. So I was like, you know, I need to do something and I didn't want to take a towel just to cover that up because I think it looks stupid. 
I don't, I don't know. I just don't think it looks that good. So I was like, what can I do? And then I remember that so I can actually remove it. It's just a piece of cardboard that I have put together and then applied some of that like, it's not a tape, but you, I think you know what I mean. It's, a, it's like plastic that you can just tape on almost. You can put this on your uh, furniture and such as well. But I just needed something and I feel so relieved. Like I feel like I can move, I can... Yeah, I just feel so relieved, which is a real, really nice feeling. Let me know what you think about the mirror situation, by the way. Hopefully you like it because, or don't really care. Obviously, I think it looks way better with the mirror instead of this little cardboard thing on top. So that's why um, I just have it like a cardboard thing and then every time I don't film, I'll, I just remove it. But I was just like, I didn't know what to do and I don't wanna take the mirror off because I still use it and I mean, I, You'll see a bunch of different holes if I do so and I have tried to like turn the camera so I sit a little bit more like this and then turn the camera but it just uh, hasn't really worked out. Oh, I need to get some more coffee. I'm dying. I just woke up, took Sigi outside and then put on some coffee, filmed this little thing where I applied my foundation and now I'm here, so I haven't really done anything. Now I'm just taking a little bit of my RCMA No Color Powder to set this. I've started setting my foundation again, which seems... I don't know, I, I look way more matte, but with my Pixie Glow Mist, I'll fix it. Okay, I'm just going to fetch some more coffee, fix my brows, and then I'll be right back. Yesterday I saw Amy Loves Makeup. She used the Lemonade palette, and I was like, mm, I need to dip into this again. <gasps> I have wanted to continue to use this again because I just gave up on the shimmers and I have not really tried them that much so I'm gonna give this palette a second shot. Anyway I'm gonna start off with the shade Mango and just dip 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 and then apply it. And I'm not gonna do any like crazy makeup today because um, uh, yeah I wanna look I don't know I wanna I just want a warm look today. I freaking adore this yellow. It's so good. I'm gonna dip into the shade Sweet Tea. And just apply this right here in my outer corner. And then just take this all the way up. Oh, my body hurts so much. In the video I did with my, which video was that? The video that, um, with my foundation, the W7 foundation review that I did. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it somewhere. In that video, I said that um, I do sweat every single day. I do, disgusting, right? But yeah, I do. <laughs> And I've said that I need to take care of my body a little bit more. I need to start moving my body a little bit more. And it's been a lot easier because than I thought it was because my boyfriend has actually started going to the gym. And says he has wanted to be a little bit more healthy. I have also started to do so. Oh, no. Yeah, I also started to do so and I have been walking so much more. And I've even taken some and I've even exercised a couple of times. So now my body is like hurting. My legs are hurting so, so much. 
but it's a good pain, you know, when you feel like you've done something good. Everyone has these like New Year's resolutions where 2000 and blah blah blah, like beach 2019 and uh, I'm gonna eat healthy and yada yada yada. I don't have a resolution like that. I more have it like, I don't know, but it's just like, I don't want to sit here and say that I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then in the end, maybe I won't. I'm just gonna apply some glitter glue, but you know, it's scary coming out and saying, saying it on camera that, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that, because if you don't, everyone is gonna know that you failed. I feel so weak. Um, my, I feel like my body is so freaking weak and that is why I wanted to, you know, start moving my body a little bit more because I wanna... I don't want everything to be hard. I don't even know if this makes any sense. I don't know, I just don't want everything to be a struggle, you know? I want to be easy to... I don't know. I'm gonna take the shade Strawberry. This was actually quite good. I remember that it flaked off during the day, so we'll see if it does that today. Also, I've been addicted to uh, Coke. Coke Zero, not that Coke. <laughs> you know, when I bought my newest bullet journal, I set, I started to writing up some goals and just writing. I, I don't know, I just love to do so. It's sort of, you know, I say that makeup is my therapy. That is also sort of my therapy to just, I don't know. I just really, really enjoy it very, very much. And just gonna go over just like this so it blends in together. Boop, 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 like so. Yeah, and I remember saying that this year, like 2019, I wanna get away with my addiction of Coke Zero because I, I don't know, I don't like to spend money on Coke, you know? I feel like it's so unnecessary. I'm gonna be honest, I hate spending money on food. I am so cheap when it comes to food. I never eat out. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Chai Tea just to make this blend together with the pink that we have on the lid. But yeah, I never eat out. I maybe eat out maybe like maximum once a month and not even that. It's just... I spending money on food sure I love spending I don't have a problem spending money on food if I'm like outside going out with a friend eating out that's fine I don't have a problem with that but just like staying in not feeling like cooking dinner and then buying food I don't like that because there's always something at home you can eat I mean you can take uh, cereals you can do porridge you can do whatever like there's a bunch of different things you can eat. So I, I don't, I don't like paying for it. Like I don't, I hate it. Spending money on food at the grocery store is one of my favorite things. However, I just placed an order. I bought some shakes. So I'm gonna go on, sh I'm gonna drink shakes only for a couple of days. That was fun. I bought a, like, a lot of energy drinks that was fun but just spending money on like a pizza or something is just like oh no so i'm taking the shade shy tea under my eyes and then i'm taking the shade sweet tea really really close to the other shade because i don't want it to be like i don't want the shade uh, chai tea to take over i still want it to be very very warm but let me know if you have any like New Year's resolutions or yeah, just let me know because 
I enjoy hearing your guys' New Year's resolutions as well. I'm taking a bit of the shade uh, Mango. This is probably one of my favorite like wearable yellows. This is such a good yellow. Every time I'm thinking about doing a warm look, I want to use these two. They are that good. I bought this little Stila set. I might want to use one of these. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of the shade Kid and Karma because I've never tried any one of these Stila ones and I really want to do so. So I'm doing as I normally do, squirting out a bit on my hand and then applying it with a brush instead. Ooh, it dries pretty quick. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the applicator instead. See how that works. Shear it out. I am going to do my lashes, let this dry, and I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna hop into my Revolution Pro kit. This one. Cannot believe that I've used this, like, uh, so, so much. But I still, like, I don't even have a dent in it. Barely. It's so weird. I use this almost, like, every single day. But still, there's, like, <laughs> A den which is so strange to me but at least I'm gonna have it for a very long time that is really good but it is like real really kick up -y. like if I just take this do you see I don't know I have no idea the funny thing is not the funny thing but uh, when I was outside with Sige this morning I was like okay I'm not gonna talk about like trying to walk around more like everything like that that I have talked about I was like no I'm not gonna discuss that because it's gonna be so embarrassing if you don't follow through but what did I do but the thing is that I have to talk about what's on my mind and I can't really not talk about it if I'm thinking about it you know it's so I don't know I can do it if I only did like a normal makeup tutorial but since I do these um get ready with me videos. I feel like I kinda, whoops, have to talk about it, you know? Went in with way too much, do you see? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, you know uh, what I said about the shake things? I'm gonna only eat shakes for just a couple of days so it's not that long. It's just to, I don't know, I think it's fun and I wanna do things that's fun. It's a challenge, um, it's gonna be a challenge, and at least I'll lose a couple of pounds. But I do think that I'm gonna be very, very tired when I start eating my shakes. That's why I'm trying to like film as much as I can the days before I'm starting. I think I'm gonna start tomorrow. So I'll probably film if I have the energy, I'm gonna film tomorrow. And then I don't think I'll have the energy to do so like the two days after that. But maybe I'll have energy to like just, just um, edit, you know? So I caved and I bought the Jouer bronzer. I just had to, I bought the shade light to medium. So this is kind of one of my lightest bronzers that I have, but it's nice. It's really, really nice. I saw that Mel Thompson, you know, she had already used up hers. I was like, what? I don't think I've ever finished a bronzer. Yeah, I have. When I was younger, I had, because I used bronzer as setting powder, as I've told you guys about. So obviously I, I used some of them up then, but like from my, from when I started really, really loving foundations, since I started really loving bronzers and like makeup in general, 
I don't think I've ever finished a bronzer. I've never finished a bronzer, I've never finished a highlight, I've never finished anything like that, I think. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia Amrisi highlight to die, it looks like this. You know what I've been thinking about? I'm doing a lot of these like throwback videos with me using like some of my older palettes within my collection. So for instance, today I used the Lemonade palette. It's not an older palette, but it's a palette that I haven't really used that much. So ever since I started doing this, so I've used the Subculture palette, I've used the Colourpop Yes Please palette, the Juvis Play Sulu palette the Anastasia Prism palette and a bunch of other different palettes. And ever since I've done that, I haven't really bought that many eyeshadow palettes, which I think is so good. I mean, of course I've bought some eyeshadow palettes. I, I bought the Natasha Denona one, I bought the Sueva one, but I have not had that much of a craving like to purchase eyeshadow palettes just because I'm going through the ones that I have, and that is very, very exciting. So, yeah, I'm really happy about that. So for blush today, I'm gonna use my um, Linda Halberg Infinity Palette, and I'm gonna use a little mix of these four. I'm just kinda dipping into everything, and then applying it. So for lips, I'm gonna take my Milani uh, lip pencil. This is in the shade 9, I think. Yeah, 9. It's called Spice. I'm gonna take my H&M lipstick. This is in the shade Peaches and Cream. It looks like this. Oh, I was about to say that I was done. I was about to record my outro, but I remembered this one. I haven't used it. Such a shame or such a sin. I have to use this every single day, every single day. But yeah, guys, that was all from me for this little get ready with me. I hope you had a wonderful time hanging out with me and that you have a wonderful day or have had a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. But that is all from me today. As I said, if you like this video, feel free to thumbs the video up. If you didn't like the video, feel free to thumbs the video down. So I know don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.